Hello everyone, myself Suraya Yasmin. I am the science teacher of Samsi Genesis School. Today I will teach you a topic about science, which is water cycle. Have you ever wondered that where rains are coming from or how clouds are formed? Well, this is all about water cycle. Let's dive in it. Here you can see a smiley sun. That means the weather is too hot. When the sun heats up, the rivers and oceans water heating and water becomes water vapor. This water vapor goes, goes rise up in the air. Where, why this goes up? Because when liquids converted into the gases, it becomes lighter. So, this process is known as evaporation. This is the first step of water cycle. Well, you can see this process like water vapor in your home also. Just tell your mom to heat some water. After few times, you will be able to see the water vapor. It goes up in the air. Now, let's go to the second step. That one is the condensation. When water vapor reaches up, it cools down and makes small, small droplets of water. The small droplets of water mix with the gases and dust particles together mix and make clouds. Now you all understood how clouds are made up of? This process is known as condensation. Now you can see this condensation in your home also. In which vessels you heat that water, just cover a cold lid over it. After few times, when you open that lid, you can see a small droplets of water. That one is the condensation. Now comes to the third step. That one is the precipitation. When clouds are holding too much water, it becomes very heavy. It cannot hold any more this water. So it will burst open and rain, hail and snow falls. This process is known as precipitation. After raining, water droplets again collected to the oceans or rivers. Now you can see that water cycle is a continuous process of evaporation, condensation and the precipitation. Now I will tell you an interesting thing. Do you know plants also sweat? Yes, plants also sweat like human beings. This process is known as transpiration. Transpiration. That's why in the hill stations and in the forest, there are more rain during any time. That is all for today's lesson. Hope you all understood about the water cycle. If you have any doubt on it, then please go to the comment section and ask me about it. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe these channels. Thank you very much.